Dakota Lithium is one of the leading battery manufacturers in the kayaking industry, but this Sycon battery aims to change that. And I actually think they're onto something, and here's why. So just to be clear, I own both batteries. I use a Dakota battery for my electronics, like my fish finder and everything, and I've been using this Sycon battery for about a month and a half, two months on my trolling motor after they sent it to me to test. So here are my reasons why I love this Sycon battery so far. Number one, the longevity lives up to the 100 amp hours. I've taken it on multiple trips now and haven't had an issue with it. One day I spent trolling around in this kayak for probably an hour and a half, two hours straight. We probably went four plus miles round trip. Then I came out today and had another two to three mile plus round trip and still plenty of power to hold me and anchor me in this spot. And I wouldn't hesitate to continue on today and keep going with it. But a big reason to choose this battery over a Dakota is simply the price point. Now I get it prices and everything and often you get what you pay for, but this battery is like $300. So it's not super cheap, but for a lithium battery, that's pretty cheap. And a Dakota of this size and similar characteristics, similar features is gonna cost you about $800. So more than double. As a kayak angler, weight is very important to me. And this Sycon battery weighs less than a 12 volt, 100 amp hour Dakota battery. Sycon weighs about 21 pounds and the Dakota weighs about 27 and a half pounds. I also love how compact this Sycon battery is. It's a group 24 battery. And for those of you, if you're kind of like me, what the heck does that really mean? It just means that it's about the size of a car battery, a little bit smaller actually. And they even offer a mini version that's a little bit more expensive, but it's even more compact than that. And it's still a hundred amp hours, meaning you're gonna have plenty of time out on the water with it. So at that price point, you might be thinking, well, I'm getting fewer uses out of the Cyclone battery. And that's not the case at all. Actually, they both claim to have about 5,000 cycles, which means you burn it all the way down, charge it all the way back up. That's one cycle. And so 5,000 cycles, you're never going to use up this battery unless you're just literally out on the water 24 seven. And also both of these batteries have a battery management system, which is just protecting the battery from overheating or getting too cold or power surges. So with this Sycon battery, you're still getting those benefits just once again at a lower price point. Now with that said, there's actually some reasons to love and prefer Dakota more. Number one, Sycon's battery warranty is five years. Now five years seems plenty to me, but then you go look at Dakota's and it's an 11 year warranty and you're like, okay, I pay twice as much, but I have twice as much warranty as well, more than twice as much warranty. So if you're big on warranties, Dakota might be the way to go simply for that. However, I have to warn you that this point won't hold up in court. It's more of hearsay, but I've had multiple people tell me that when they went to try to use their Dakota warranty, they didn't get any response. Dakota's customer service has left a lot of customers wanting. They don't necessarily answer the phone very well. They don't answer emails very well. So what good is a warranty if you can't even use it? And I haven't tested Sycon's customer service yet. On their website, they say they have 24 hour assistance, but that could also just be a chat bot or somebody in another country that can't really immediately help you. So lastly, I also like that some Dakota batteries come with a charger. Now, if you already have a lithium battery charger, then this really doesn't matter. But if you're just buying your first one, which if you're looking at a cheaper option, you probably are, then getting the charger with it is always nice so that you know you got the correct charger because you do need a different charger for lithium batteries and lead acid batteries. I also own a charger that charges both, but you have to change its modes. So that is an option. But once again, it doesn't come with the Sycon batteries. Now, if you're not convinced that this Sycon 12 volt, 100 amp hour is for you, and you still think that Dakota lithium batteries are the better option, you can check out this video right here where I list the pros and cons of my Dakota lithium battery. And I can't wait to see you there.